takes a minute for that to start. All right, good morning. Can everyone hear me? Yes. All right, I'm Judge Salvia Smith Fox. Today is July 4th, 2020. I'm going to conduct your first appearance hearings here in Clayton County Magistrate Court. I wanna go over a few things with you so you understand the nature of these proceedings. You are here for the court to inform you of the charges against you, advise you of certain rights, to set bail on those offenses for which this court is authorized to set bail, to schedule a preliminary hearing and to determine whether you require the assistance of an attorney. Um, since we're doing this hearing via Zoom, I'm going to appoint everyone a court appointed attorney. If you decide at a later time that you want to retain a private attorney, then a court appointed attorney would be relieved from representing you. You have the right to remain silent and say nothing, but should you give up this right, anything you say during this proceeding may be used against you if your case were to go to trial. During this and all other proceedings, you have the right to the presumption of innocence until the state proves your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. The right to indictment by the grand jury for most felonies or by accusation for misdemeanors the right to a speedy and public trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and cross-examine all witnesses that are called to testify against you, the right to compel the attendance of witnesses in your own behalf by subpoena, the right to testify and offer other evidence in your own defense should you choose to do so. But should you choose not to do so, no presumption of your guilt may be raised. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. Some of you will be allowed to post unrestricted bonds. Those bonds may be cash, commercial, or property bonds. If you decide to post a cash bond, someone will deliver the full amount in cash to the sheriff of this county, and that money will be returned to that person after the final disposition of your case. If you do not have the full amount in cash, you can go through a uh, commercial bonding company, they charge up to 15% of the amount of your total bond. Once you pay this percentage to the bonding company, that money will not be returned to you. You also may post a bond using um, property. Um, you would have to find someone that has net equity in their property in an amount equal to three times the amount of your total bond. Some of you will have special conditions on your bond that prohibit you from contacting certain people or going to or around certain places. This special condition will be provided to you on a separate form. You will also be prohibited from calling or having other contact with the victim while you are in jail. Should you violate the court's order, your bond will be revoked and you would not be entitled to another bond while you are awaiting trial. An additional charge of aggravated stalking, influencing a witness or other charges as the law may provide could be brought against you for which you could be sentenced up to 10 years and up to $10,000 fine. For family members that will be assist assisting you in posting bond, they will be provided information on your bond after this calendar or unless they are viewing it now on YouTube. If a family member is a victim on the warrant and there is a special condition that you are to have no contact with that family member he or she will not be allowed to post the bond. Some of you are charged with offenses for which this court is not authorized by law to set bail. In this event, a bond hearing will be scheduled before a superior court judge and you will be informed of that date. If you are currently on active probation, this court is not authorized to set a bond for you. Your bond can be reconsidered after your probation officer has had an opportunity to determine whether or not they want to file a warrant to revoke your probation. Preliminary hearings 
the preliminary hearing is a probable cause hearing that's held here in magistrate court if you are still detained in the Clayton County Jail. If you have a felony, your preliminary hearing will be set for August 3rd. If you have a misdemeanor, your preliminary hearing will be set for August 4th. For those of you that have misdemeanor charges only, you will have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. If you decide to waive your preliminary hearing, it will expedite your case to state court and you will have a hearing in state court in seven to 10 days. Like I said, if you have any felony charges, you'll have to wait to speak with an attorney first before you can decide whether or not you want to waive your preliminary hearing. If you postpone, your preliminary hearing is automatically waived and you will be mailed a notice when to appear in state court for arraignment. All right. If you cannot make bond, you may waive your preliminary hearing and, and be taken before a state court judge, at which time, if you plead guilty, you will be sentenced. You plead not guilty, a trial will be scheduled, and that would typically be um, within seven to 10 days. Let me have all of the defendants please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the information you provided on your court appointed attorney form is true and correct? If so, say, I do. All right, everyone can put your hand down. All right, thank you. And let me ask the deputies who you want me to start with first. You want me to start with the females first or the fugitives? I have, there are two fugitives on the calendar. We'll start with the females first, Judge. Okay. Also, Gilligan's going to need a uh, Spanish interpreter. You say Gilligan? Gilligan. 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 Okay. okay. All right. What's your name, ma'am? Leticia Barnes. All right, give me just a moment. All right, Miss Barnes, you are charged with battery. Good morning. Your bond is $4,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Jenny Finch and also not to violate any laws while you are on bond. Do you understand that, ma'am? All right. Do you waive the formal reading of your bond or do you want the charges read to you? Do you want the, um, the probable cause affidavit read to you or do you think you understand what you're charged with? Okay. And do you believe you'll be able to post your bond? All right. I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing to expedite your case to state court or do you want to have the hearing? Okay, it will be set for August 4th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Now, if you bond out, that hearing will be waived and you'll get your next court date in the mail. All right, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, uh, Sabrian Ford, and after Miss Ford will be Asha Logan. All right, are you Miss Ford? Yes. All right, good morning, ma'am. All right, ma'am, you are charged with obstructing or hindering an emergency telephone call. Your bond is $2,000 on that charge, false imprisonment. $5,000 bond, uh, battery, $4,000 bond, and simple battery, $3,000 bond. Ma'am, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Do you want me to read the warrants in their entirety or do you think you understand what you're charged with? All right. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Michaela Worthy also not to return to or go upon the premises located at 5809 North Lake Drive, apartment 603 in Morrow. 
and not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Do you understand that, ma'am? All right. Do you believe you will be able to post your bond, ma'am? All right. I have appointed an attorney to represent you. Um, your preliminary hearing is scheduled for August 3rd at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Asha Logan, after Miss Logan will be LaBertha Martin. All right, good morning, are you Miss Logan? All right, ma'am, you are charged with driving without a valid license and possession of marijuana less than an ounce. On the un, uh, driving without a license, you have a $1,000 signature bond, possession of marijuana, $1,500 signature bond. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrant to you in its entirety? Do you think you understand what you're charged with? I can't hear you. I want you to read on you. read? All right. For the driving without a license, it says that you did drive a vehicle, uh, Jeep Cherokee 2016, without a driver's license on Phoenix Boulevard and Riverdale Road in Clayton County on July 1st, 2020 at Phoenix Boulevard and Riverdale Road. For the possession of marijuana on July 1st, 2020 at Phoenix Boulevard and Riverdale Road, Said accused knowingly possessed less than one ounce of marijuana, having a rolled cigar containing marijuana. The rolled cigar was located inside of an ashtray located in the cup holder of the vehicle. Ma'am, since I am giving you a signature bond, you will be able to sign on your own recognizance. I will just need for you to sign a waiver of the preliminary hearing, then you will no longer be in jail and you will receive your next court date in the mail. Do you understand that, ma'am? All right, thank you, ma'am. All right. Are you Miss Martin? Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Thank you. After Miss Martin will be Christian Warren. All right, Miss Martin, you are charged with battery. Your bond is four thousand dollars. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges, or do you want the probable cause affidavit read to you? Um. No, ma'am, I think I don't understand my charges. And, All right. Ma'am, you have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Sydney Martin and also not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you think you'll be able to post your $4,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. All right. And do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Well, I would be. Can you give me it, it will expedite your case to state court if you're still in jail. If you bond out, that hearing will be waived anyway, and you'll get your next court date in the mail. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I'm going to bond out, and I would do what you The waiver? Do. Okay. Yes. So they will have a waiver form for you to sign shortly, and then you'll get your next court date in the mail after you bond out. Okay. And can I ask you a question real quick? There, yes, ma'am. Signature bond on that? Um, no, we do not do signature bonds on battery charges. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Thank you, ma'am. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Miss Warren, Christian Warren, mm -hmm. and then it will be Joe Bree White. White. You, Miss Warren? All right. Good morning, ma'am. You're charged with false statements. Your bond is $5,000. Ma'am, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want your charges read to you? Do you want me to read the affidavit or do you think you understand what you're charged with? I don't know what you mean. All right, let me go ahead and read it. It says on uh, July 2nd, the offender did commit the offense of false statements to police when investigating a poss possible family violence, criminal trespass. Complainant said offender did state 
that her child's father did not live with her, then stated he lived with her a few days, then write in a statement that he had lived in the residence a few weeks, previous complaints and reports, along with the statement of the father. All right, ma'am, um, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $5,000 bond? Yeah. All right, your preliminary hearing is going to be set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Joe Reed White. After Ms. White will be Jakira Finley. All right, good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, you are charged with, are you Ms. White? Yes. You're charged with homicide by vehicle in the first degree. You have no bond on that charge. Reckless driving, $1,500 bond. Uh, speed restrictions violation, $3,000 bond. Racing on highways or streets, $1,500 bond. Too fast for conditions, $500 bond. You have a special condition not to violate any laws when you are able to be released on bond. Ma'am, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrants read to you? Do you understand what you're charged with or do you want me to read the warrants in their entirety? All right. For the reckless driving, it says you did on June 16th. 2020 at State Road 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale, commit the offense of reckless driving against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did at 1900 hours drive a 2019 Dodge Charger in reckless disregard for the safety of persons or properties by engaging in a contest of speed with another vehicle and traveling at 119 miles per hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone during evening rush hour traffic, causing a fatal crash with another vehicle. For the speeding, same date, June 16th, same location, did operate a 2019 Dodge Charger at Dodge Charger at a speed of 119 miles per hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone on State Route 85. All right, same date and location for the racing. Said accused did unlawfully drive in a contest of speed against another vehicle reaching speeds up to 119 miles per hour on State Route 85 North. A witness described excuse me, the two vehicles involved as racing. Homicide by vehicle in the first degree on June 16th, same date, same location, State Route 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale. The defendant did without malice cause the death of another person, Mr. Isaiah Jackson by vehicle by driving in a reckless manner with no regard of the safety of others on busy State Route 85 North during evening rush hour traffic at a speed of 119 miles per hour. The accused was also in a contest of speed with another vehicle when the fatal crash occurred. All right, too fast for conditions. June 16, 2020 at State Route 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale. Commit the offense of too fast for conditions when defendant did, uh, was driving a 2019 Dodge Charger to it approaching a hill crest and in, in intersection at 119 miles per hour during evening rush hour traffic on busy State Route 85. All right, your, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Jakira Finley. After Ms. Finley will be Jamaria Hendricks.
Yo, you got a warrant on your list? Who? Christian Warren. I think I did her already. Oh, I did her already. Christian Marie Warren. George, that was Nelson. Are they males? Oh, they come off of it. I have Warren right here. Oh, they come off of it. Yeah, she just walked out. Just I have Warren right here. Okay, so who was the person I did before when I asked if it was Warren? Christian Warren, because I had already called. So I need to bring that person back up. It was Nelson. Can you bring that person back then? Because I don't. What's the first thing? What's your name, ma'am? Arlene Nelson. Arlene Nelson? Darlene Nelson. Darlene, she doesn't talk yet. Oh, Darlene Nelson. Okay. She's 24. She's 24, Judge. All right, give me just a moment. I got to find her paperwork. All right, Ms. Nelson, you're charged with criminal trespass and giving a false name, address, or date of birth. Your bond is $1,500 on each charge with a total bond of $3,000. You have a special condition not to return to the Quick Trip or go upon the premises located at the Quick Trip at 93 Upper Riverdale Road in Riverdale, Georgia also not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. The warrant indicates on July 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County at 93 Upper Riverdale Road in Riverdale, Georgia, said offender did commit the above offense of criminal trespass and giving a false name when she knowingly and without authority entered upon the premises of 93 Upper Riverdale Road, Riverdale, Georgia, quick trip after she was given several criminal trespass warnings, including one on June 30th, 2020, by the store manager, she returned uh, this morning and began handling when advised to leave the property. She attempted to spit on the store clerk. When asked for ID, she said she did not have one and gave a false name and date of birth uh, of Williams. Uh, I can't read the last name. Williams looks like shrilty. All right. Ma'am, do you believe you can post your $3,000 bond? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? But that being. If you waive the hearing, then you can get in, uh, your case would be transferred to state court and you would have a hearing there in about seven to 10 days. I need one. And that come my, my brother sick and he done passed and I'm home. All right, hold on just a moment.
I apologize about that. Um, did you want to waive your preliminary hearing and have a hearing in state court in about seven to 10 days? Or did you want to have your preliminary hearing on August 4th? August 4th. Okay. It will be August 4th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, ma'am. All right, and what's your name, ma'am? Christian Warren. All right. Ms. Warren, you are charged with uh, false statements. Your bond is $5,000. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Um, your preliminary, uh, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the uh, charges read to you? Red. All right. The probable cause affidavit indicates July 2nd, 2020, the offender did commit the offense of false statements to police when investigating a possible uh, family, vi family violence criminal trespass. The complainant said offender did state that her child's father did not live with her, then stated he lived with her a few days, then wrote in a statement that he had lived in the residence a few weeks. Previous complaints and reports along with the statements of the father, uh, this occurred in Clayton County. Your preliminary hearing will be set for August 3rd, 2020 in court at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Uh, do you believe you'll be able to post your $5,000 bond? No, ma'am, I have seven children and I don't know where my kids are. I'm just gonna be honest with you, ma'am. Um, okay. well, I've appointed an attorney um, to represent you, ma'am. All right. Uh, so your next hearing will be August, your preliminary hearing will be August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201, but an attorney should be um, there to speak with you prior to uh, this hearing. I didn't have an option to waive it? No, because it's a felony charge. You can only waive misdemeanors. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Ty Finley. All right. What's your name, ma'am? Tyra Finley. All right. Good morning. After Ms. Finley will be Jamaria Hendricks. All right. Ms. Finley, you're charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Your bond is $7,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Ma'am, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? I want to read to you. All right. The probable cause affidavit indicates on July 3rd in Clayton County, Georgia at Conley Road and Jonesboro Road at approximately 1342 p.m. Said offender did um, drive, uh, was a driver of a vehicle with which a traffic stop was being conducted on in plain view suspected marijuana was observed inside the vehicle. A book bag was located which a Strybog nine millimeter firearm serial number K0778824. The serial number was ran through GCIC, NCIC and revealed the firearm was reported stolen to the DeKalb County Police Department on June 30th, 2020 case number 20 dash 050150 said offender advised she did not want to speak to us about anything. All right, ma'am, your preliminary hearing, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you think you'll be able to post your bond for 7,500? 
All right. Thank you, ma'am. George, do you have a Javon Gilmore on here? Javon Gilmore? Yes, that's a female also. All right, let me check. <laughs> Okay, yes, I do. All right, you're Miss Gilmore? Yeah. All right, good morning, ma'am. You're charged with battery. Your bond is $4,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the affidavit read to you in its entirety? You can read it to me now. All right. It indicates on July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 5383 Kirk Drive at approximately 1040. Said offender did cause visible bodily harm to the victim, William Magby, when she attacked him in the front yard of the residence they shared together. Offender scratched the victim on top of the head, chest, face, and arms of the victim. The attack happened as the victim was leaving the yard of the residence. The offender followed and attacked the victim once he no longer had a stick in his hand after a verbal altercation between the two. The victim and the offender have, have been dating and living together for three years. The offense occurred in Clayton County. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with William Magby and not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, ma'am? Uh, yes, but I have a question. He lives at my house, so how do I, he's not on my lease, but if I get signed out, I got to go home, and if he's still at my house, where do you I? You will not be able to, if he's, I, right, you will not be able to, because you're charged with battery against him and you all live together, you cannot go back to the house, right? Located at 5383 Kirk Drive. I've appointed an attorney to, um, to represent you so you can speak with that attorney further um if they want to file a motion we'd have to have the prosecutor you'd have to have an opportunity to have notice and all of that um, information you also uh, have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond um do you want to waive your preliminary hearing no. No, okay, it will be set for August 4th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. If you bond out, it will automatically be waived and you'll get your next court date in the mail. Yes. All right, thank you, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. What's your name, ma'am? Maria Hendrick. Just a moment. All right. After Ms. Hendricks will be Heather Rathbun. Ma'am, you're charged with identity fraud. Your bond is $5,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? You're read to me. All right. The warrant indicates on June 26th at Lamar Hutchinson. Roberts Drive uh, did commit the offense of identity theft, fraud to create, use, use, possess, counterfeit, fictitious identifying information. Um, defendant did knowingly, willfully, and unlawfully without authority or permission of the victim create, use, or possess counterfeit or fictitious identifying information concerning a fictitious person with intent to use such counterfeit or fictitious identification information for the purpose of committing or facilitating the commission of a crime or fraud on another person. That accused did present to Deputy Doyle a fake North Carolina driver's license card. Deputy Doyle checked the driver's license card through GCIC and CIC, which returned not on file. Doyle also checked the name and date of birth on the ID, which also returned not on file. After the accused was placed in handcuffs, her Georgia ID was inside of her purse that was strapped around her shoulder. The accused never obtained a valid Georgia driver's license. All right. 
Um, Ma'am, your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you will be able to post your $5,000 bond? Yes. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. All right, Heather Rathbun. All right, good morning, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. Ma'am, you are charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $1,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond and also to have no violent or harassing contact with Ashley Williams. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want your charges read to you? No, I'll waive them. All right. Um, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $1,500 bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, ma'am. They'll have a waiver form for you to sign a little bit later. Thank you. Geraldine Smith. All right, good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, you're charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $1,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Also to have no violence or harassing contact with Bobby Grant. And no what? No violent. You can have contact with Bobby Grant, but it cannot be violent or harassing. But, um, can I go back to the house? Could I leave yes, you can have contact as long as it's not violent or harassing contact. Um, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes. All right. All right, thank you, ma'am. They will have a waiver form for you to sign. What's your name, ma'am? Karima Wingfield. All right. All right, Ms. Wingfield, you are charged with theft by shoplifting. Um, it originally was a felony charge. I found probable cause for a misdemeanor. Um, so your bond is two thousand dollars. Do you waive formal reading of your charges, or do you want them read to you? Do you want your charges read? To you, or do you understand what you're charged with? I understand what I'm charged with. I waive it. Okay. Back. You have a, a special condition not to return to or go upon the premises located at the Walmart at 7050 Highway 85 in Riverdale and not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $2,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Do you want to waive your, what about your preliminary hearing? Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes, ma'am. All right. They will have a waiver form for you to sign and then you'll be excused. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Was that all the females? You have a handy on your list? Tammy, hand me, hang. Hang. Is that the only female you have left? That's the only one I have left. All right, let me find her paperwork. All right. All right. You're Miss Tammy Haney? Yeah. All right. Good morning, ma'am. You are charged with homicide by vehicle in the first degree. You have no bond on that charge. Reckless driving, a $1,500 bond. 
uh, speeding, speed restriction violation, a $3,000 bond, racing on highways, streets, $1,500 bond, too fast for conditions, a $500 bond. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want your warrants read to you? I have a warrant read to you. All right. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Uh, the warrant says you did on June 16, 2020 at State Road 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale. So, commit the offense of racing against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did unlawfully drive a vehicle in a contest of speed against another vehicle reaching speeds up to approximately 119 miles per hour on State Route 85 North. A witness described the two vehicles involved as racing. And this is for too fast for conditions on June 16, 2020 at State Road 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale. Commit the offense of too fast for conditions, prima facie speed against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did uh, drive a vehicle, 2015 Hyundai Genesis to which approaching a hill crest and intersection at approximately 119 miles per hour during evening rush hour traffic on busy State Route 85. On June 16, 2020 at State Route 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale, commit the offense of driving speeding against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did operate a vehicle 2015 Hyundai Genesis at a speed of approximately 119 miles per hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone on State Route 85. On June 16th at State Route 85 near Orr Road, Riverdale, commit the offense of reckless driving against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did at 1900 hours drive a vehicle in reckless disregard for the safety of persons or properties by engaging in a contest of speed with another vehicle and traveling at approximately 119 miles per hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone during evening rush hour traffic causing a fatal crash with another vehicle. On June 16, 2020 at State Route 85 near Orr Road in Riverdale, commit the offense of driving homicide by vehicle in the first degree against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did without malice and directly caused the death of another person, Mr. Isaiah Jackson by vehicle by being a willing participant in a contest of speed with another vehicle. The other vehicle involved in the contest of speed crashed into a 2001 Volvo S60 driven by Isaiah Jackson, which caused Isaiah Jackson's death. During the contest of speed, the accused drove a 2015 Hyundai Genesis in a reckless manner with no regard of the safety of others on a busy state Route 85 North during evening rush hour traffic at a, at a speed of approximately 119 miles per hour. All right. Ma'am, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing will be August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Brian Bush. All right. Good morning, sir. After Mr. Bush will be Javen Carson. Mr. Bush, you're charged with driving under the influence of alcohol, less safe, following too close and too fast for conditions. After reviewing the warrant, I did not find probable cause for the DUI charge, so I dismissed that. On the other two charges, you have a bond of $500 each, so you have a total bond of $1,000. Um, do you waive the formal reading of your charges, or do you want the charges read to you? Um, 
I don't think I need them red. I think I understand what you said. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Mm -hmm. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you will be able to post your $1,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? I do. All right. They'll have a waiver form for you to sign. And okay. then um, when you bond out, you'll get your next court date in the mail. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Javen Carson. And after Javen Carson will be Carvardis Carson. All right. Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right. Uh, this is, you're Javen, right? All right. You charge with terroristic threats or acts. Your bond is $5,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? I'm not sure how to answer. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and read it to you. It says on July 2nd, 2020, in Clayton County, Georgia, at 6908 Airport South Parkway at approximately 1045. Um, did said defender did threaten to go to the person who uh, he had a physical altercation with to shoot uh, that person's residence up. The person he got into the altercation with is the victim, Anton Manley. The threats were overheard by a security guard, Tracy. Uh, and I don't know the last name, Denor, Dennis. The offense occurred in Clayton County. All right, you have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Anton Manley and not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. You understand that, sir? All right. And your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post a $5,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, sir. Carvardis Carson. After Mr. Carson will be Dantra Collins. You, Mr. Carson? Yes, ma'am, good morning. Good morning, sir. You are charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $1,500. Terroristic threats or acts, $5,000 bond. And simple battery, $4,000 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? No, ma'am. You want it read to you? No, ma'am. OK. You have? a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Anton Manley and not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond? Uh, as of right now, I believe so, ma'am. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dontra Collins. After Mr. Collins will be Terrell Favors. All right, you Mr. Collins? How are you doing, ma'am? I'm good, how are you, sir? Well. Sir, you're charged with improper turn signal, possession of marijuana over an ounce, in violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Uh, on the improper turn signal, your bond is 500. On the possession of marijuana, $5,000 bond. And with intent to distribute, $7,500 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? You can read it to them. All right. The affidavit indicates on July 2nd in Clayton County, Georgia, at Sullivan Road, Massachusetts, Boulevard at approximately 2125. Said offender did operate a motor vehicle on the roadways of the state of Georgia and failed to use a turn signal to turn onto Massachusetts Boulevard from Sullivan Road 
while a vehicle was traveling directly behind him. He also had inside a Toy Story backpack, multiple foil bags containing marijuana and a clear plastic bag containing marijuana collectively weighing over an ounce. A black digital scale was also located in the backpack consistent with drug sales. All right, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Uh, yes. Do you know how much it is at all? Uh, the total is 13000 Yes, I can post that. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, you don't have to. You, Mr. Favors? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? You are charged with crossing a roadway um, not at a cross, um, not crossing roadway other than a crosswalk. Three counts of violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, possession of marijuana, one ounce or less. Uh, use of possession of drug-related objects and forgery in the first degree. On um, the felony charges, the three counts of violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act and the first degree forgery, you do not have a bond set because you are on 10 years probation in Douglas County Superior Court, six years probation Clayton County Superior Court. On the crossing roadway, you have a $500 bond and on the marijuana, uh, less than an ounce, you have a $1,500 bond, drug-related objects, a $1,500 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Uh, a quick question. Yes, sir. Are you saying I don't have no bond for the other one? I mean, I know- You're on probation. But that is kind of right. And, and Clayton County. I'm on probation Clayton County. Uh, six years probation in Clayton County Superior Court. I ain't not no probation for Clayton County. Okay. Well, it has Clayton County and Douglas County. Do you want your charges read to you, the warrant, or do you understand what you're charged with? I don't say what I'm charged with. All right. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, Carl Gantt. And after Mr. Gantt will be Bradley Gaston. Are you Mr. Gantt? Yes, ma'am. All right, good morning, sir. Good morning. You are charged with no tag lights a $500 bond and no driver's license, driving with no license, a $1,000 bond. I'm going to let you, uh, I'm gonna release you on your own recognizance and let you sign a signature bond on those two charges. Do you waive, the, but just make sure I'm releasing you on a signature bond. So if you don't have a license, don't drive. Trust you end up back in this situation, right? Um. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read them to you? Oh. Uh, you understand what you're charged with? Or, yes, okay. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. And since I'm letting you out on a signature bond, I need for you to sign the waiver of the preliminary hearing. And once uh, you're released on bond, you'll get your next court date in the mail. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Bradley Gaston. After Mr. Gaston will be Rashad Hilliard. Hilliard. Is that the... All right. Are you Mr. Gaston? How are you doing? I'm good. Sir, you are charged with driving on a suspended or revoked license. Your bond is $1,500 and defective headlights. Your bond is 
I'm going to uh, release you on your own recognizance and let you sign a signature bond for those two charges. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you waive the formal reading of the charges or do you want me to read them to you? Do you understand what the charges are? Or do you want me to? Okay. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. And since I'm releasing you on a signature bond, I need for you to sign a waiver of the preliminary hearing once you're released um, by the sheriff's office you will receive your next court date in the mail. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Rashad Hillian. Rashad. Is that the one that speaks Spanish? Uh, no, Judge, it's uh, Oliveira. Oh, okay. How you doing? I'm good. You're Mr. Hillian? Yes, ma'am. Unfortunately, I am. Uh-oh. Well, sir, you are charged with possession of firearm by a felon, $10,000 bond, possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime, $10,000 bond, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. You have two of those, $5,000 each, um, possession of marijuana, one ounce or less, a $1,500 bond, and driving without a license, a $1,000 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Um, what does that mean? The formal reading? Yeah, I want to I want to hear it because I'm I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Okay. Yana, hold on. Hold on. Hear you, the sound went out. I'm trying to take everything to trial, though. I was having technical difficulties. Okay, okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. All right, do you want me to read the warrant, or do you understand what you're charged with? Yeah, I want to read the warrant, because I don't know how I got heavy charged. So, okay. Uh, give me just a second. Hold on, sir. All right. We'll do it. It's crazy. Chief Jameson. <laughs> so technically, that's like thirty thousand something, three thousand something for one. Thirty-one, right? So for the bondsman, that's three thousand. That is that. For for. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right. The warrant indicates on July 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 5474 Park Place, said offender oh, at approximately 843, said offender did operate a motor vehicle bearing Georgia temporary tag S0387510 while being unlicensed in that state of Georgia. When Hillian was detained, I located on his person two baggies of marijuana approximately 7.6 grams. Also in the same pocket was 3.9 grams of MD and it says MD, MD, I'm assuming it's MDMA pills. Hillian was placed under arrest. A vehicle inventory was conducted on the vehicle with a black nine millimeter firearm. Serial number 076921 was located in the center console. Armrest also Inside was a baggie that contained a small amount of a white powder sub suspect white powder suspected cocaine. Hillian is a convicted felon as of January 15, 2009, for possession with intent to sell Schedule II drug out of North Carolina. Per its criminal history, ran by GCICNCIC. All right. Um, your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you think you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Uh, I'm not really sure, ma'am, to be honest with you. I All would right. like to, try to get my bond lowered somehow. All I'm right, well, I've appointed an attorney to you and if you're unable to bond out, they may be able to file um, a motion or talk to the prosecutors to see whether or not they'll consent to something lower right. or another bond hearing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
All right, Tony Holmes. And after Mr. Holmes will be Robert Johnson. Tony Holmes. Tony Holmes, come on. I don't bond. Yeah, he bonded out. I don't bond. He's out. Oh, he's out on bond. Okay. What was the next one? Um, Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. He's bonded out. I don't bond. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Lorenzo Kinder. Lorenzo. All right, and after Mr. Kinder will be Anton Manley. All right, good morning, sir. Are you Lorenzo uh, Kinder? All right, sir, you are charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Your bond is $7,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? Um, can you read it? Right, indicates on July 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 5231 Highway 85 at approximately 1716. Said offender did operate, possess, and control a 2018 Dodge Caravan bearing Florida tag LLTV43. This vehicle was reported stolen out of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department while being detained, the subject spontaneously uttered, I knew there was something wrong with that car. The vehicle's keys were located in the offender's right front pants pocket. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post the $7,500 bond? Not sure. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. All right, next will be Anton Manley. All right, so are you Mr. Manley? And then next will be, after Mr. Manley, will be Jadon Mason. Mr. Manley, you're charged with battery. Your bond is $4,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Do you want the warrant read to you? Um, uh, yes. Just All right. In the case on July 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 690 Airport South Parkway in College Park at approximately 1025 a.m. Said offender did admit to punching the victim, Javen Carson, in the head area during an altercation. The victim has a visible injury of a knot on his forehead. The offender and the victim are co-workers at a warehouse at the incident location. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Javen Carson and not to violate any laws while out on bond. I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Uh, yes. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? I don't understand if I do or if I don't. All right, your preliminary hearing is a probable cause hearing here in Magistrate Court. It will be held on August 4th. If you want to waive that hearing so that you can uh, move your case to state court, try to resolve it faster, you'd get a hearing date within about 10 days. Um, or if you bond out, the hearing would automatically be waived and you would get your next court date in the mail. Okay. So do you want to waive that hearing? Yeah, I want to waive it to uh, be able to. All right. So um, once you, you'll get your next court date in the mail then. Okay. If you're, if, if you bond out, if you're still um, incarcerated, then you'll get a hearing date in state court in about 10 days. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Jadon Mason, after Mr. Mason, will be Idris Udola. You Mr. Mason? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You're charged with possession of marijuana, one ounce or less. Your bond is $1,500, giving a false name, address, or date of birth. $1,500 bond, 
violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, a $5,000 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read them to you? I'm good with that. I, I just want to make the bond and I deal with it after that. Okay. Uh, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Okay. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. All if right. you bond out before August 3rd, then they'll mail you your next court date in the mail. All right. All right. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Idris Adola. And then next will be Wilmer Oliveira. All right. Are you um, Mr. Adola? Or how do you pronounce your last name, sir? Adula? Yeah. All right. Sir, you um, are charged with failure to dim, dim your headlights driving without a license and giving a false name, address, or date of birth. For the headlights, it's a $500 bond, the no license, $1,000 bond, and the false name or date of birth is a $1,500 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrant to you? Uh, I got a quick question, so is that, what, oh, all together, like, what, what's that looking like? 3,000. All right. Yeah. All do right. you understand what you're charged with, or do you want me to read the warrant to you? Yeah, because um, they All right. Hold on. Can I ask you a question? It indicates, hold on, let me read it. July 2nd, 2020, in Clayton County, Georgia, at Conley Road, at Jonesboro Road, and Forest Park, at approximately 547, said offender was in possession of a 2003 Honda Accord bearing Georgia tag. RQY 6810, which the offender was operating with its high beams, partly blinding drivers on the roadway. During the traffic stop, the offender provided this officer with three different names, such as Idris Williams, Idris William, and Idris Odula, different date of birth, the date of birth 12-3-98. Um, during the investigation, it was discovered that the offender had an outstanding warrant out of Clayton County for dangerous drugs. Uh, DOW 2020-0309, warrant number 2019-CR00493. The offender also never possessed a driver's license as required by law. This occurred in Clayton County, Georgia. I have appointed an attorney to represent you do you believe you'll be able to post your $3,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. All right, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes, ma'am. All right, so they will have a waiver form for you to sign. Um, there was a special condition that you uh, must not violate any laws while you are out on bond. Um, once you are released on bond, you'll get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. It's the um, Wilmer Ol Oliveira. Is that the person that speaks Spanish? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, next is Timothy Phelps. I have to get a Spanish interpreter for Mr. Oliveira. Okay, are you Mr. Phelps? Yes, ma'am. All right, good morning, sir. Mr. Phelps, you're charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $2,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? I'll uh, read it for me. Okay, it indicates on June 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 2506 Old Tony Road in Ellenwood at approximately 1900 hours, said offender did commit the offense of criminal trespass by int intentionally damaging the victim's Daya Martin's bedroom door. The offender admitted to uh, slamming the victim's bedroom door and caused damage less than 
$500. The offender and the victim live together. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while out on bond. Also to have no violent or harassing contact with Daya Martin. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, Your Honor, I have a uh, request. Yes, sir. I'm hoping to get an OR bond. Um, no, we won't be able to do an OR bond on anything involving uh, family violence charges. Well, really uh, you can have contact with Miss Martin, but it can be of a no violence or harassing nature. Do you believe you'll be able to post your two thousand dollar bond? It's gonna be hard, but I. All right. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? No, but I need to share something else with you. Ask me a question. Yeah. What? Do you have a question, sir? Yeah, there's something come up since I've been in here. Oh, I've been here since Wednesday night in different. People have been trying to contact me because the possibility I'm supposed to be step for a change. That you're what? There's a possibility I'm supposed to be step for a change. Okay, well, make sure that you let the, the sheriff's office know. I'm also going to appoint an attorney to represent you. So someone should be there. Um, I don't know if they're coming to the jail or how they're doing the visitations, if they're doing them by video, but I cannot give, a, um, at this time, a signature bond on family violence charges. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? If you do that, then you'll get a sooner court date in state court if you're unable to bond out, or do you want to have the preliminary hearing on August 4th? We we'll have the hearing. Okay, so it will be set for August 4th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, are you Melvin Poole? Yes, ma'am. All right, good afternoon, sir. And then next will be Jacoby Summerlin. Sir, you are charged with improper turn, following a $500 bond, following too close, $500 bond, obstructing an officer, $2,500 bond, possession of marijuana, one ounce or less, $1,500 bond, and fleeing from a police officer, $6,000 bond. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrants to you? Do you understand what you're charged with or do you need me to read the warrant? Can you read the warrants, please? All right. On uh, July 2nd, said offender did, was driving motorcycle at State Route 3 at McDonough Road. Sergeant Deaton attempted to conduct a traffic stop on the motorcycle, which the motorcycle attempted to flee striking Sergeant Deaton's patrol car, uh, then fled on foot. The offender was apprehended at approximately 23.5 grams of marijuana, was located in his um, book bag. Oh, I'm sorry, I read the warrant. That was the second page. First page, um, it also says, I observed the offender operating a 2016 KTM 390, um, is it is it Duke Abs? I, I can't read the officer's handwriting. Bearing Georgia tag EKJ861 on State Route 138 West. I observed the offender make a left turn onto State Route 3 without using a turn signal. I attempted to conduct a traffic stop on the motorcycle. However, he refused to stop and drove south on State Route 3 in excessive speeds. Sergeant Deaton observed the offender driving the motorcycle at State Route 3 at McDonough Road. Sergeant Deaton attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a motorcycle, which the motorcycle attempted to flee, striking Sergeant Deaton's patrol car, um, then fled on foot. The offender was apprehended at, and approximately 23.5 grams of marijuana was located in his book bag. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. All right. 
what, what you're saying is, do I get a bond? Like, you do have a bond. Okay. Remember all the the five hundred dollars on the first two improper turn and following too close. That's a thousand. Obstructing an officer. That's twenty five hundred. That's thirty five hundred. Um, possession of marijuana. It's fifteen hundred. So that would be five thousand. And then the fleeing from police officer is six thousand. So you should have a total of eleven thousand dollar bond. Can I say something? Yes, sir. That police officer stopped in the middle of the road. Slamming. Okay. Any. Not about the facts of the case. Um, I've appointed an attorney to represent you, so you'll be able to give tell your attorney um, all your defenses that you have. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. And you'll have your hearing on August third. Thank you. Yeah. And it's in a paper up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jacoby Summerlin, and after Mr. Summerlin will be Demetrius Tarrant. Are you Mr. Summerlin? Uh, yes. Uh, All right, sir, you're charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $2,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you, sir? Can you read them, sir? All right, on July 6, 2020 in Clayton County at 1510 Bethsaida Road at approximately 1759 hours, said offender did knowingly and without authority enter the residence of the victim. Leanne Zorn at 1510 Beth Road in unincorporated Clayton County, Georgia. The victim stated his back door was open, unlocked. The offender opened the door um, the rest of the way and entered the victim's residence. The victim stated his dog scared the offender and he fled. The victim did not know the offender and did not authorize him to enter. The offender stated he believed it was a family member's house, so he answered. All right, I, uh, you have a special condition not to return to or go upon the premises located at 1510 Bethsaida Road and not to violate any laws while on bonds. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $2,000 bond? Yes. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes. All right, they'll have a waiver form for you to sign and you'll get a hearing in state court in about 10 days. Thank you, sir. Demetrius, Terrence, and then next will be Roy Young. Are you Mr. Tarrant or Tarrant? Yes, ma'am. All right, good afternoon, sir. You're charged with possession of a firearm by a felon. Your bond is $10,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read them to you? I know, I know what you read. All right. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you think you can post your $10,000 bond? Uh, I, I, I can post it, not today. But I, I, Okay. All right. So, um, like I said, your preliminary hearing is August 3rd. Thank you, sir. All right. Roy Young. After Roy Young will be Wilson Young. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Are you Roy Young? Yes, ma'am. All right. You're charged with aggravated assault. Your bond is $20,000. Criminal damage in the second degree. Your bond is $2,500. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Uh, you can read them to me. Do I plead first offenders? I can't take a plea right now. All right, so you'll, I will appoint an attorney to represent you. You can um, talk with them about your case. Mm -hmm. On... The probable cause affidavit indicates on July 2nd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 5913 Homestead Court in Rex, Georgia at approximately 1501 hours, said offender did commit the act of aggravated assault by taking a red metal carjack handle and striking his friend that lives at the above location, right? Andrews on the left side of his head above left eye leaving a cut bleeding and scratch on the left side of his face young also admitted the act of breaking two 
two back windows, front windshield and the driver's side window. By striking the vehicle with a black iron four-way jack lug nut, causing property damage to the vehicle in an aggressive manner. Both subjects are friends which live together. This incident occurred in Clayton County, Georgia. Red Mitsubishi, 1996, two-door. Tag number P1169806, Mirage, VIN number, and it lists the VIN number. Um, you have a special condition. Stay away and have no contact with Bryce Andrews. Not return to go upon the premises located at 5913 Homestead Court in Rex. If you have any personal property like clothing or other items, you can contact the sheriff's office after your release to get an escort to take you back to the property one time to get your personal belongings. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you will be able to post your bond? The first, uh, yes ma'am, you said 25,000. Uh, the aggravated assault is 20,000. The -hmm. criminal damage is 2,500. So the total is 22,500. Do you think you're gonna be able to post that? Not today, but yes ma'am. All right. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Uh, Wilson Young. And then next will be, yeah, Wilson Young. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You're charged with felony murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. You have um, on the felony murder, you will have to have a bond hearing before a superior court judge. On the aggravated assault, you have no bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I would actually like a warrant read to me. All right. For the felony murder, the warrant indicates on July 2nd, 2020 at 6967 Beaver Trail in Riverdale, um, defendant did commit the offense of murder during the commission of a felony against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did knowingly and intentionally during the commission of a felony aggravated assault caused the death of Tiamo Thorpe when he shot at him resulting in his death. On July 2nd, 2020 at 6967 Beaver Trail in Riverdale, defendant did commit the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did make an assault upon the person of Tiamo Thorpe with a firearm, which when used offensively against another person is likely to result in serious bodily injury to it. Dallas Robert Young Wilson did shoot at Tiamo Thorpe resulting in his death. Let's see, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201 and your bond hearing August 7th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. All right, thank you, sir. All right. All right, are you Demetrius Berry? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Berry, you are charged with two counts of theft by taking. Your bond is $2,000 on each count for a total of $4,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrants to you? Being out of reason. You said you waive it? Yes, ma'am. You don't have to read them to me. Okay. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while out on bond. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $4,000 bond? Yes, ma'am. All right. And do you waive your preliminary hearing? Yes, ma'am. All right. 
they will have a waiver form for you to sign and then you'll be excused to go back with the deputy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Michael Blunt, Senior. Yes, ma'am. All right. Good morning, sir. Right Sorry, uh, you are you're Mr. Blunt. Senior. Yes, ma'am. All right. And after Mr. Blunt will be Jalil Howard. Mr. Blunt, you're charged with battery. Your bond is four thousand dollars and cruelty to children in the first degree. Your bond is two thousand dollars for a total of six thousand dollars. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? Um, um, I, I waive the condition. All right. Sir, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Also to have no violence or harassing contact with Michael Blunt Jr. and no corporal or phys physical punishment of Michael Blunt Jr. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. He's going his way back to Minnesota. Okay, so then you should have no problem complying with those conditions. So I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $6,000 bond? Uh, at 15%, yes, ma'am. All right. And do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Well, uh, I guess so, yeah. All right, so they will have a waiver form for you to sign and then you'll be excused to go back with the deputy. Thank you, sir. All right, Jalil Howard after Mr. Howard will be Vontero Jones. Hello, you Mr. Howard? No. All right, good afternoon, sir. You're charged with possession of marijuana, one ounce or less. Your bond is $1,500. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance on that bond and let you sign with a signature bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you need me to read your warrant to you? I waive it. All right. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while out on bond. I'm appointing an attorney to represent you. And since I'm letting you sign, um, your bond, I need for you to sign a waiver of the preliminary hearing. And then once you're released on bond, you'll get your next court date in the mail. All right. All right. But now if you sign the waiver, you'll be excused. Thank you, sir. Vontero Jones, after Mr. Jones, will be Jaquavis Lissy Moore. Are you Mr. Jones? Ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You're charged with theft by receiving stolen property. You have no bonds because you're on four years first offender probation out of DeKalb County Superior Court. Possession of marijuana, less than an ounce, $1,500 bond. Possession of a firearm by a felon, um, no bond because of your probation. By seat belt violation, a $500 bond. Do you um, waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrant to you? You read it to me. All right. It says on July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at Conley Road and Jonesboro Road at approximately 13.42 p.m. said defender did commit the following violations of Georgia law, theft by receiving, possession of marijuana, less than an ounce, possession of firearm by convicted felon, seatbelt violation. Said offender was a passenger of a vehicle which a traffic stop was being conducted on in plain view suspected marijuana was observed inside of the vehicle. A book bag was located with a Strybog nine millimeter firearm, serial number K077824, serial number, <clears throat> which ran through GCIC, NCIC, and revealed the firearm was reported stolen to the Cab County Police Department on June 30th, 2020, case number 20-050150. The said offender advised he did not know who the firearm, whose firearm it was. Said offender was convicted on December 1st, 2017 by the DeKalb County Superior Court for a death felony, death by receiving stolen property. All right. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, sir. 
the Quavis Lissy Moore. After Mr. Lissy Moore will be Brendan Mercer. Are you Mr. Lissy Moore? Ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You're charged with theft by receiving. Your bond is seven thousand five hundred. Obstruction. Your bond is two thousand. Tampering with evidence. Your bond is five thousand dollars. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges, or do you want me to read the warrant to you? You can read the warrant to me. All right. It says on July third, twenty twenty, in Clayton County, Georgia, at Conley Road and Jonesboro Road, at approximately 30, 13 42 p.m. Did commit the following violations of Georgia law, theft by receiving, obstructing, tampering with evidence, and that said offender was a passenger of a vehicle which a traffic stop was being conducted on in plain view, suspected marijuana was observed inside of the vehicle. A book bag was located with a Strybog nine millimeter firearm, serial number K077824. The serial number was ran through GCIC, NCIC, and revealed the firearm was reported stolen to the DeKalb County Police Department on June 30th, 2020, case number 20-050150. Said offender advised he did not know whose firearm it was. Said offender was placed in the rear of a Clayton County Sheriff's Office patrol vehicle number 7907. Said offender was the only person that was on the driver's side in the rear seat. No other arrestees were placed in the vehicle after him. The rear of the patrol vehicle was checked before the said offender was placed in the rear of the vehicle. During a check of the rear of the patrol vehicle after the said offender was taken out, a Glock 17 serial number VXE921 was located on the door's compartment. The Glock was confirmed stolen out of the DeKalb County Police Department. Case number 18-157666, said offender attempted to conceal the firearm. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201, August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Yes, ma'am. Um, I want to know, can you, can you yell out the, um... The charges and the and the and the charges like the, and the prices of them. the death by receiving seventy five hundred okay. obstruction two thousand tampering with evidence five thousand for a total of fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. You believe you're going to be able to post that? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Brendan Mercer. After Mr. Mercer will be Darlin Mercia. Are you Mr. Mercer? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You are charged with obstructing an officer, a $10,000 bond, criminal damage in the second degree, $7,500 bond, removal of weapon from officer, $10,000 bond, simple battery, $5,000 bond. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrant read to you? I want the warrant read. All right. It indicates on July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at Southern Regional Medical Center, 11 Upper Riverdale Road at approximately 14, 16 hours. Uh, said offender did commit the following violations of Georgia law, obstruction of an officer, criminal damage in the second degree, removal of weapon from public officials, simple battery, and that said offender did intentionally damage Lenovo keyboard and the, the Lenovo computer desktop by drawing it down the hallway. The Lenovo keyboard and Lenovo computer cost is $3,500. The offender entered the medical room where officer Maurice DeCab PD was and attempted to grab his firearm from his holster. Officer Maurice and the offender got into a physical altercation Due to the offender attempting to grab his firearm, Officer uh, Marie stated the offender was resisting during the physical altercation. Officer Marie advised he was struck several times, uh, but did not advise how. I did not see any visible injuries on Officer Marie's at this time. The incident occurred at a location, Southern Regional Hospital, located in Clayton County. Sir, I have appointed an attorney to represent you. Your 
preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you will be able to post your bond, sir? Um, how did I know of? All right. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, sir. Darlene Marcia. We're gonna need a Spanish interpreter. Hand on the wall. Okay. Uh, Montarius Redding. No, I'm Willie Reese. Okay. Uh, is there a Montarius Redding? Here he comes. All right. I do, Mr. Um, Redding, next. And you said you're Willie Reeves? Uh -huh. All right. Sir, you're charged with armed robbery. You have no bond set. You have to go um, have a bond hearing before a superior court judge. Aggravated, you have two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. You have no bonds. Uh, felony murder. Your bond hearing will be before a superior court judge. And possession of a firearm during a crime, no bond. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want the warrants read to you? You can read the warrants. All right. All right. On June 8th, 2020 at 747 Chaseland Court in Jonesboro, said offender did commit the offense of armed robbery against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did with the intent to commit theft, take narcotics, marijuana, and one Glock 22 handgun, serial number YDR594, the property of Deshadra Smith or Deshadre from the immediate presence person of Deshadre Smith by use of a silver and color handgun. Willie Reeves arrived at the incident location under the pretext of purchasing marijuana during the transaction, Willie snatched both the marijuana and gun from the laptop of Deshadre Smith before fleeing and firing backwards, striking both Deshadre Smith and Deron Andrews. On June 8, 2020 at 747, Chaseland Court in Jonesboro commit the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did make an assault upon the person of Deshaun Dre Smith when, with an object, silver and color handgun, which when used offensively against another person is likely to result in serious bodily injury to it, partial dismemberment of finger and two bullet wounds in the shoulder and abdomen. On June 8th, 2020, at 747 Chaseland Court in Jonesboro, commit the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon against the state of Georgia, and that said defendant did make an assault upon the person of Deron Andrews with an object's silver and color handgun, which when used offensively against another person, is likely to result in serious bodily injury to wit visible bullet wounds to the rear of the skull and center of the back. On June 8th, 2020 at 747 Chaseland Court, Jonesboro commit the offense of murder during the commission of a felony against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did knowingly and intentionally during the commission of a felony cause the death of another by shooting Duran Andrews during the armed robbery of Shadre Smith. On June 8th, 2020 at 747 Chase Land Courts in Jonesboro, commit the offense of possession of a firearm or knife during commission or attempt to commit certain felonies against the state of Georgia and that said defendant did have on his or her person a firearm, silver and color handgun 
during the commission of an armed robbery and aggravated assault, a felony under the laws of the state of Georgia, District Court of Georgia 16841 and 16521. Okay. All right, sir, you're, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. And your bond hearing is August 7th at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Thank you, sir. All right, Monterius Redding. And after Mr. Redding will be George Scoville. Good afternoon, are you Mr. Redding? Yes, ma'am, how you doing? All right. Sir, you're charged with violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act and possession of a weapon during a crime. Your bond on the uh, BGCSA is 5,000. Possession of a weapon is 10,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read them to you? Uh, you can do formal. I can hear you. All right. On July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at Roundtree Road, Hager Drive in Clayton County at approximately 2043, did commit the following violations of Georgia law, violation of Georgia Controlled Substances Act, possession of marijuana over one ounce, possession of a firearm during the commission of certain offenses, said offender did possess approximately 52 grams of marijuana, including bag weight at Roundtree Road, Hager Drive, and unincorporated Clayton County. Offender also possessed a Glock handgun at the time of the offense. I made contact with the offender at a road safety check at Round Tree and Hager. This was a pre planned safety check uh, for license and registration. Offender's vehicle had a strong odor of marijuana inside. I conducted a search and located the items. All right. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $15,000 bond? Uh, about a 15%? If you go through a bonding company. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. And your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, George Schofield, and then next will be Antonio Stinson. Are you Mr. Schofield? Yes, ma'am. All right. Sir, you're charged with disorderly conduct. Your bond is $1,500. Simple assault, your bond is $3,500. You have, um, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I'm right, ma'am. You said what? You want them read to you? All right. It says on. I'm uh, shaking hands. You say yes or no? I'm not shaking my hands. The offender did commit the offense, the act of simple assault and disorderly conduct, and that offender did follow the victim one, D'Angelo Marcus Hargrove, and victim two, Travis White, to the above listed. Incident location, 11346 Terra Boulevard, Hampton, Georgia. Um, um, at which time the offender pulled his vehicle near the victim's vehicle and approached the victims in a violent and tumultuous manner by holding a knife and cussing at victim one. Victim one being in reasonable apprehension of immediately receiving a violent injury. Proceed to hit Hargrove with one of his crutches on the neck, shoulder area in an attempt to push the offender away from his immediate personal space. Due to the evidence presented and having enough probable cause, I placed the offender in custody. Once in custody, I transported the offender to the Clayton County Detention Center, where he was then turned over to the Clayton County Sheriff's Office Corrections Personnel. All right. Um, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $5,000 bond? By myself? No. All right. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? I, 
I still don't understand what that means. All right. Your preliminary hearing would be your probable cause hearing held here in magistrate court. If you're still in jail, it will be held on August 4th. If you want to waive that hearing so you can expedite your case to state court, you get a hearing in state court probably in about 10 days. So you could have the probable cause hearing on August 4th, or you can waive that hearing to um, to get into state court faster. I just want to get out of here. So you want to waive the hearing, the one on August 4th, so you can have a sooner hearing in state court? Whatever is the fastest way to get out of here, yes, ma'am. Okay, so they'll have a, a waiver form for you to sign. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, Antonio Stinson. Yeah, he, he want to get out. He want to leave. All right. Uh, after Mr. Stinson will be Isaiah Watson. All right. Good afternoon, sir. You're charged with reckless conduct. Your bond is $2,000. You're charging a firearm near the highway, a uh, roadway. Your bond is $2,000. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read uh, the warrant to you? Um, I can pay, I can pay this on. How, how, how does that go? Um, you can pay it in cash or you can go through a bonding company or a property bond. Do you understand what you're charged with or do you need me to read the warrant to you? All right. July 4th, Clayton County, approximately 0042 hours. Said offender did commit the offense of reckless conduct when he knowingly did engage in danger the bodily safety of another person by consciously disregarding a substantial and unjustifiable risk the offender did commit the offense when he discharged a gun or pistol near a public street at 40, 0042 hours. The offender was firing a diamond back arms AR-15 rifle in his backyard into the ground. The offender had no way of knowing where the projectiles went after striking the ground. The offender was firing into the ground in the direction of several other houses that were occupied. This incident occurred in Clayton County. Sir, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you think you'll be able to post your $4,000 bond? Yes. You want to waive your preliminary hearing? Is that helpful for me to get out of here anytime soon? You, you'll be able to post your bond either way. So would you like to waive that hearing? Yeah. All right, so they'll have a waiver form for you to sign, and after you bond out, you'll get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. Isaiah Watson. All right, after Mr. Watson, then will be James Jackson. Um, Mr. Watson, you're Mr. Watson? Yes, ma'am. All right, good afternoon, sir. You're charged with speeding, $1,500 bond, two fast for conditions, a $500 bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read them to you? You can read them to me. All right, July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia, at I-675 at Forest Parkway, Alamo, Georgia, at approximately 2149 hours. Said offender did commit the acts above um, the speed limit and too fast for conditions when said offender was observed on radar traveling 99 miles per hour in a posted 65 miles per hour zone while driving his 2010 Dodge Challenger on I-675 at Forest Parkway when traffic conditions were slightly heavy and complete darkness. This incident occurred in Clayton County. The defender was driving a black 2010 Dodge Challenger Georgia Tech RUP 5917. 
All right. I have appointed an attorney to represent you. Would you like to waive your preliminary hearing? Um, so when is the hearing? It would be August 4th. If you waive it, you'll get a court date in about 10 days in state court. How much is my bond? It's $2,000. I don't want to waive it. Okay. It'll be August 4th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. I'm sorry. Can I ask a question? If I waive it, can I still bond out? Yes. If you bond out, it's automatically going to waive anyway. I want to waive it. Okay. And then um, I need for you to sign a waiver form. They have one there for you. And then once you bond out, you'll get your next court date in the mail. Excuse All me. Right. Yes, sir. Um, I have a question. Is there any chance of an OR in my case? Oh, not for driving um, the 99 miles per hour. We don't do oil bonds on those. So it is a $2,000 bond. All right. And like I said, once you bond out, you have to get your next court date in the mail. And, and one more question. is 15% of it? The bonding company, it's about 15%, but they will let you know the exact amount. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. James Jackson. Yes, John. Mm -hmm. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Are you Mr. James Jackson? I am. All right. And after Mr. Jackson will be Emmanuel Shaw. Mr. Jackson, you're charged with theft by receiving. Your bond is $7,500. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want me to read the warrant to you? Yeah, I'm going to read it. All right. On July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia. Georgia at 4839 Massachusetts Boulevard at approximately 6.35 a.m. did commit the following violations of Georgia law, theft by receiving, and that said offender did. Uh, said Officer Smith responded to a block hit on a stolen vehicle on Sullivan Road with Georgia tag RUH5491. I located the vehicle at 4839 Massachusetts Boulevard. Um, with James Jackson sitting in the driver's seat, stolen vehicle was placed on the system by Doraville Police Department on July 2nd, 2020. The keys to the vehicle um, was in his possession. The vehicle is valued at $15,000. All right. I have appointed an attorney to represent you. Yes. Your preliminary hearing is set for August 3rd at eight o'clock in courtroom 201. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $7,500 bond? Right. We don't do OR bonds on felony charges. Oh, Thank you, sir. Manuel Shaw. Yes, All right, good morning, sir. Are you Mr. Shaw? Yes, ma'am. Sir, you're charged with simple battery. Family violence. Uh, your bond is four thousand dollars. Do you um, waive the formal reading of your charges, or do you want them read to you? A formal reading of my charges. Do you understand what you're charged with, or do you want me to read the warrant? Um, may I ask you a question in reference to family violence? Do you understand what you're charged with, or do you want me to read the warrant? I'm not understanding the family violence part. Okay. Um, it says on July 3rd, 2020 in Clayton County, Georgia at 1540 Phoenix Boulevard, uh, said offender, uh, wait, Officer Smith was dispatched to a domestic violence call at 1540 Phoenix Boulevard, Shaw and Davenport got into a physical altercation in the parking lot. The, I think it says the gardener on scene stated that he observed Shaw punch Davenport in um, who Davenport, who's the living girlfriend, stated that Shaw punched her um, on the face and threw her on the ground. 
uh, Davenport and Shaw both had dirt on their clothes. So you have a special condition to have no contact with Davenport. For how long? While this case is pending and not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Okay. So I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you believe you'll be able to post your $4,000 bond? Today, I could do that right now as soon as I go back to intake. Okay. And you want to waive your preliminary hearing since yeah. you're going to bond out? Yeah. All right. So they'll have a waiver form for you to sign. And then once you're released on bond, you'll get your next court date in the mail. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. I do do I just have the Spanish speaking people and the two fugitives left? Yes. All right. Can I do the two fugitives at the same time? Yes, ma'am. Y'all come on up. Come on, sir. Come on. Y'all come on up, bro. The last two dudes? No, just y'all two. I'm worried about too much on that. Uh, it should be Sharif Robinson and Melvin Freeman. Oh, Melvin Freeman. Yes, ma'am. Sharif, Sharif come on. OK, you're Mr. Freeman? Yes, ma'am. All, All right. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Judge. All right, I'm going to do both of you all together. Um, you both are charged with being a fugitive from justice. You have no bond since you're wanted by another jurisdiction. All right, Mr. Freeman indicates that you're wanted out of the state of Florida, Orange County Sheriff's Office in Orlando, Florida, for violation of probation. Warrant number 482017CF0134200. Mr. Robinson indicates that you're wanted by the U.S. Marshals out of Arlington, Texas for a burglary that occurred out of Nassau County. Um, warrant number 1853021505. 0592. So this is what's called an extradition hearing. You will have the option of voluntarily returning back to the respective state, or you can contest extradition. If you contest extradition, we can hold you in our jail up to 90 days. We'll prepare a warrant under the um, governor's signature um, for your extradition back to the respective state. Now, during the extradition hearing, you would not be able to contest your innocence or your guilt because we do not have the file with your case that's pending in the other state. We don't have that here in Georgia. You would be able to contest four things. One, whether the extradition documents are in order on their face. What Two, whether you are charged with a crime that actually exists in the demanding state. Three, whether you are the person named in the request for extradition and for whether you are in fact a fugitive from justice. If you decide to voluntarily return back to that state, they will have 10 business days to come pick you up. If they don't, then we'll release you from our jail. All right, so let me start with you, Mr. Freeman. Um, Do you want to voluntarily return back to Florida? That would be signing the extradition waiver, correct? That's correct. And that's the 10 day process that you just talked about, correct? That is the 10 day process. I will say this, most states right now, because of the COVID pandemic, um, certain limits, certain time limits are being lifted. So I really don't know what's going on with that state. We're getting orders here in Georgia. It's, it's different from week to week as things progress. So I don't know, you they know, but yeah, typically it is 10 business days or we release you. The only way that could change is if there's some special order in place to give them an extension because of the current pandemic that's going on. Because the expedition investigator, the extradition investigator told me that the, the corona had spiked. So 
I was just wondering. I mean, either way, I'm I'm going to sign the waiver. Either way. Okay. Yeah. Like I can't tell you that because things are changing with the virus every day. Because I can voluntarily go down myself after getting out and go take care of it. No. Okay. okay. Well, all right. So they'll um, have the waiver forms for you to sign. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. And Mr. Robinson, do you want to let's state was it voluntarily return back to Texas? You said for Texas? Wait. Yes. It says you were wanted out by U.S. Marshals out of Arlington, Texas for a burglary that occurred in Nassau County. Nassau County where? Oh, wait. I know it's been in Texas. It says New York. All right. I don't know why it has Texas on here. Uh, Nassau County, is that in New York? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, it has, uh, I'm sorry, New York on the extradition. Do you want to voluntarily return back to New York? Uh, yes, and I just want, you said for a burglary? That's what it says. I don't have any other information about that? No. It just has the warrant number that I read earlier. That's for, it's for the U.S. Marshal. That's what it says. Okay. But yeah, I don't have the file, so I don't have all of the information it's uh, just say for burglary so i don't know okay so did you want to voluntarily return and see what it is and go ahead and take care of it yes, yes, all right so the same thing so they'll have some waiver forms there for you to sign mm -hmm. and then they'll alert the other states they can come pick you up okay thank you all right thank you sir welcome my friend all right give me just a moment so i can call the interpreter um, you got seven on your phone Okay, hi Perla, this is Judge Fox. I have, I'm gonna put you on speaker and then I have two people and I just need to let them know what they're charged with and what their bond is. Okay. All right. All right, the first person I'm gonna start with is Darlene Marcia. Yes, all right. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Mercia, you are charged with driving without a license. Señor Mercia, usted está siendo teniendo cargos por manejar conducir sin licencia. Yes. Okay, your bond is one thousand dollars. Okay. All right. The probable cause affidavit indicates on July third in Clayton County, Georgia, at Rama Court. Elon Trace in Jonesboro. Yes, right. 
Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Okay, I lost the interpreter. Un momento. I have to get a call back. Uh, good afternoon. This is Judge Fox. I have two people in front of me. I just, I'm going to put you on speaker. I just need to let them know what they're charged with and what their bond amount is. All right. All right. Mr. Marcia, the warrant says that you were driving a white Acura to the road safety check. Uh, the road safety check was supervised by Sergeant Deaton. The offender was asked for a Georgia driver's license while operating a motor vehicle on Georgia roadways. The offender stated he does not have a valid Georgia driver's license. The offender stated he lived in Georgia for 11 years and handed me a Honduras passport. All right, sir, I am going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Your bond is $1,000. Do you think you'll be able to post your $1,000 bond? All right. Do, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing and get your next court date in the mail? Necesito hablar con mi esposa primero, no he hablado con ella. I need to talk to my wife first. Okay, if you bond out, the hearing will automatically be waived anyway. So I will set the hearing for August 4th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. All right, thank you, sir. All right.
I have I have one more person. Sir? Hello? Hello? Oh, I have one more person. Hello? Yes. Okay, I, go ahead. Okay. Mr. Oliveira? Mm -hmm. See? Si. All right. Good Can afternoon. Sir, you are charged with simple battery. I'm sorry, would you please Sir, you are charged with simple battery. You have you have no bond on this charge because you are on probation in Clayton County Superior Court and Clayton County State Court. Derecho a fianza debido a que usted está encontrada en, pro, en prueba, en modo de prueba, por la Corte de Clayton, por la Corte Superior y la Corte del Estado. You also have five charges of cruelty to children in the third degree. You also have five charges of cruelty to children in the third degree. I know I know here nothing. No escucho nada. No, no le escuché nada de lo que me dijo. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Let me see. Can you... Is the other person speaking? Um, I'm on the Zoom thing. Hold on. Okay, can you repeat again? Um, I see it, it was frozen for a second. Um, sir, you're charged with five counts of cruelty to children in the third degree. Usted tiene cinco cargos de crueldad a niños en tercer grado. Okay. Your bond is $2,500 on each charge. Su fianza es de $2,500 por cada cargo. Okay, puedo hablar. Can I talk? Okay, did you have a question, sir? ¿Quién me, quién me agredió? Fue la persona que llamó la policía. No fue mi esposa, ella fue quien, quien me acusó. O sea, que yo no tengo nada que ver con eso. Simplemente la señora estaba borracha y me acusó de eso. Ok. Yo traigo la mano. Fue ella. Lo agredió otra persona y su esposa llamó, ¿correcto? No, me agredió una amiga de mi esposa. Y fue la que llamó a la policía y fue la que hizo todos los cargos. No fue mi esposa. Mi esposa le dijo que no lo hiciera porque era... I, I was assaulted by one of my wife's friends. Okay. And my wife called the police and told him that I was the one Okay, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you um, because I'm the judge. I can't uh, hear any facts of the case right now without the attorneys being present. So I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Okay. 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 And um, 
pregunta es, ¿puedo pagar el, el bond y salir y pelear mi caso de afuera? You don't have a bond on the battery charge because you're on probation. No, usted no tiene ningún, usted no tiene ninguna pieza en el cargo porque usted se encontraba en prueba, en modo de prueba. Um, the warrant indicates on July 2nd, said offender physically assaulted the victim, Miss Meza, by holding her down on the ground and striking her about the face and body. Aquí indica que el día 12 de julio, usted tuvo una ofensa física ya que usted agredió a la señora Mesa manteniéndola contra el piso y golpeando su cara y cuerpo. No. Said victim did not wish to report, but her friend did advise what took place. La víctima no quiso reportar, pero su amiga le hizo la recomendación. Excuse me. Sí, nomás que su amiga andaba borracha y, y lo hizo, no sé por qué. Yes, her friend was drunk. I don't know where she did it. This also took place in the presence of five juveniles who also live inside the residence. Esto también eh, sucedió en frente de cinco jóvenes que viven dentro de la residencia. Witness statements were completed by the victim's daughter and victim's friend, stating they observed the offender assaulting the victim. Los testigos incluyen a la hija del de la víctima y a los amigos de la víctima quienes indicaron que vieron cuando se realizó el, 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 el agravio. Amigos. Um, both victim and offender reside in the same house. Tanto la víctima como el Ofensor, como la persona que realizó la ofensa, vive en la misma casa. All right, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Voy a seleccionar un abogado para que lo represente. You have a preliminary hearing set for August 4th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. Tiene usted una audiencia preliminar el día 4 de agosto a las 8 en punto en, el, en la sala número 201. Or you can waive that hearing and you can have a court date in state court in about 10 days. Do you want to waive that hearing and get a sooner court date? No, usted puede, no, usted puede eliminar esa fecha de corte y obtener un día de corte en la Corte Superior o en la Corte del Estado. ¿Usted desea hacer eso? Eh, igual necesito hablar con mi esposa para, para ver si puso el abogado. I need to talk to my wife first. Okay. I will set the hearing for August 4 at 8 o'clock in courtroom 201. ¿Está bien? You will have a special condition not to violate any laws while you are out on bond and to have no contact with Miss Mesa.
eh, libertad bajo fianza y no hablar con la señora Mecha. Oh, no, no puedo hablar con ella. I cannot talk to her. No, not with this battery charge pending. You can talk with your attorney and your attorney will be able to speak with her. No, no puede. Usted puede hablar con su abogado y su abogado puede hablar con ella. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Interpreter. Thank you. Is that everybody? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You all have a good day. Are you too? All right. Okay, that will conclude this first appearance hearing.